Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to be adding our subdomain for our fourth website, our paid website. And what we're going to want to do is log in through the cPanel as we have done in previous lectures. And we'll click on the link right here that says your control panel with the link and we'll input our username here and our password below, which I have changed since then. Once we go to that link, we'll log in. And now that we're logged in, we're going to scroll down to where it says domains. And then within the domain section, we'll go to subdomains. And then we will need to find the domain that we're going to be installing this on. In my case, it's mypracticeprojects.com. And I'm just going to call this paid site. And then we'll click create. And then once it says you have successfully created paidsite.mypracticeproducts.com or whatever domain it is in your case, we will go back to where it says home in the upper left. Next, we will go down below where we were in the domain section and we'll find software and services. And over quick install, we'll click on that one. After this page loads, we'll go to WordPress on the left side and we'll go to install WordPress in the install WordPress for free section. Now here we're going to have to find our domain name, the new one, and it's not going to be this one. It's going to be whatever you just named it before paid site.mypracticeproducts.com in my case. And then I'll just populate this email information here and the other categories as well and then after that we'll click install WordPress click out of this pop-up and then we will go to view credentials here this tab and we're going to want to save this information within a document we're going to need this password that it's generated for us, whichever one it has in your case in that area. We're going to need that to log in in the next page. When we click on the link here, it probably won't be ready quite yet. It usually takes about 10 minutes in my case, and I hope it's about the same for you. But then after that, we will need to log in with this information for the first time logging into the site. And I just clicked it right away and it actually went this time. So the first thing I'm going to do is just sign in with the information that I was given for the temporary password and clicked login. And here we are. I'm going to just go up to the upper right corner and click edit my profile so we can go and change the password right away. We'll scroll down to the bottom where it says generate password we'll click that i'm going to hide the password and then type in a password that i can remember a lot better and i will click update profile so then i'll remember this password and for now that's all we're going to do in this section if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the support section thanks